Hey, you're the goose. You're the goose. Oh. Lucy's feeling better. Yeah, she's feeling better. Yeah, she's feeling better. Good night. Good night, girl. Good night, girl. Sweet baby. You're just a sweet baby. Yeah. Good night, Friday. All right, so Chubba's leaving after she bought me this heat press for on my birthday. Can't wait to open it, Chubba. Okay, be careful. Have a good day. I love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I guess I probably could have went out the front. Huh? Yeah, it's all right. All right. Mr. Clark has learned how to not only use the Cricut, but also made his own screen print. And that screen print is for Retired Granny's logo. So he already did some uh, practice shirts over here. And uh, it came out pretty good. There's one that he did. That's probably the best one, don't you think? Yeah. I did like we that determine one. that the yeah. blue one was the best one? Yeah, really nice. Yes. And um, that one came out a little bit thick. And this one came out a little bit dark, but still really nice nonetheless. So these are practice shirts that... Uh, he did. I'm going to give these to my brother Scott so that he can give them out at the food pantry where he volunteers his time. So they are not going to go to waste. And the people over there, I'm sure, will appreciate it. But here's some more t-shirts that he's going to do for me. And uh, right now we're kind of limited to only black ink because we've ordered some white uh, like this one right here, this one should have gotten white ink, but we weren't really thinking about it, and uh, it's just a practice one anyway. And here he's going to show us how he does the screen print. He's got it all scientifically <laughs> figured out in his mind. The ink that we're using is a speedball ink for screen printing. Speedball. Oh, I left my logos downstairs. Ordered it from... Uh, Amazon. Oh, dang, my ruler's down there, too. I made more. Let's just see. After he does the screen printing portion of it, I take it downstairs to the laundry room and blow dry it with a high heat. And then I put it on a hanger and then we're just going to um, heat press them tomorrow. You got to use a regular heat press that Chapa bought me for my birthday. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Chapa. I thank her. I don't know how many times, but I keep thanking her because it was a it was a good birthday gift. Hey, okay, here we go. One pass. So we're trying one pass to see if that's enough. Because we were thinking that two passes earlier was too much. That's not, that wasn't enough. The R didn't come out. <laughs> okay. 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 A little disappointing on that one, but I think I got it. All right. A little bit more pressure or what? A little bit more pressure, I think, and more ink. Okay. A little bit more pressure, a little bit more ink. Oh, dang it. All right. You can still dry it, but yeah, it's... Yeah, I'll dry it. It's okay. Might be one you can give to somebody. Uh -huh. you know? 
He's using those labels. See, I knew those labels were going to come in handy for something. <laughs> He's using the labels, the mailing labels as a marker. Perfect. It looks pretty damn near perfect. <laughs> wow, it does look pretty damn near perfect, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that one's good. It's got all the little leaves and everything on there. Looks good. Looks really good. It does. Yeah, I think that's a winner. Seven shirts so far, and we got a, a couple more to go. What are you doing over there, Gooty, Gooty, Gooty? So we're we're using my new birthday gift, which was my um, my um, heat press that Chapa bought. Early birthday gift right here. And we're pressing a uh, Retired Granny logo onto the t-shirts. Mm, that one looks good, too. And they just press this folded. And they just go for uh, 40 seconds at 320 degrees. Yeah, so here we are. These are the practice ones that your dad was working on. And um, uh, as you can see, some of the ink didn't come through but that's why they're called practice shirts we are setting the ink on them anyway and these are going to go to uncle scotty they're going to come in handy for somebody this summer who's sporting some uh retired granny tie-dye in the old south end of toledo go bucks let's see oh yeah I think we determined that that was the best one, yeah, didn't we? That was a nice one. That one was yeah, the best one. You need. Yeah, that one was the best one that came out. Very nice. So uh, all this is just to promote my channel, Retired Granny on uh, YouTube, where you get to see what we do in our everyday life in retirement. Me and Mr. C. Here's another one. Really nice. Very, very nice birthday gift. Thank you, Chapa. As you can see, we are using the new heat press. I'm trying to keep Lucy out of here. Right now, we've got it in our makeshift uh, uh, press room. <laughs> press room. It's a press shop. Press shop. <laughs> We're in a press shop slash laundry room slash office. There's your dad over here working uh, on the cricket. Which is another thing, a little handy dandy gadget that we picked up. We're in full operation mode right now, aren't we? Yep. Oh, that's it. What's going on, Lucy? Don't even think about it. That's too hot for you, Lucy. Don't get your nose up here, girl.